Hi everybody and welcome back to The Upper Room. This week we're talking about the Divine Mercy Image, the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and Divine Mercy Sunday. The Divine Mercy devotion was given to us by Jesus in an apparition to, to Blessed Maria Faustina Kowalska. St. Maria Faustina Kowalska was a Polish nun who, had, who, who was able to see apparitions of Jesus. The Vatican investigated this and found that these miracles are true. Jesus had instructed her to paint an image according to what he told her. The image was first revealed to, to St. Faustina in the year 1931. Jesus said to her, Paint an image to be blessed on Divine Mercy Sunday, the Sunday after Easter. The pale rays stand for water, which makes souls righteous. And the red rays stand for the blood, which is the life of souls. Happy is the one who dwell in their shelter. Jesus said to her, This image is to be a reminder of the demands of my mercy, because even the strongest faith is of no avail without works. By means of this image, I will be granting many graces to souls, so let every soul have access to it. Jesus said, I am giving souls one last hope of salvation. That is recourse to my mercy. On Divine Mercy Sunday, Jesus desires for the Feast of Mercy to be a refuge for sinners. Jesus said, Let all souls draw near to me, even though its sins be as scarlet. The soul that will go to confession on that day and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. He also said to St. Faustina, No soul will be justified until it turns with confidence to my mercy. Jesus demands from us deeds of mercy, which are to arise out of love for him. We are to show mercy to our neighbors always and everywhere. We must never shrink from this. In addition to the image, as well as Divine Mercy Sunday, Jesus also taught St. Faustina a chaplet to pray on the rosary beads. This chaplet is called the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Jesus said to St. Faustina, When this chaplet is said by the bedside of a dying person, God's anger is placated. Unfathomable mercy envelops the soul. He also said, The souls who pray this chaplet will receive anything they ask of me. By recitation of this chaplet, especially when recited at 3 p.m., for at that moment, Mercy was poured out for the world. Jesus also instructed St. Faustina, for, for souls who spread the honor of his mercy, he will shield through their entire lives as a tender mother her infant. And at the moment of their death, he will not be a judge for them, but a merciful savior. This is an incredible gift that Jesus has given to us. It is a gift that he that he built through St. Faustina's works in writing her diary and giving us the Divine Mercy image, the Divine Mercy chaplet, as well as, the, as Divine Mercy Sunday, which Pope John Paul II approved. So I hope you like this video on the Divine Mercy devotion giving it to us by Jesus and an apparition to the Blessed Maria Faustina Kowalska. I hope that you look further into the Divine Mercy chaplet and praying it by the bedside of anyone who is dying, as well as taking it on for yourself and, um, as an own pers personal devotion to Jesus that you can pray daily, especially at 3 p.m., because that's when Jesus went into his passion and died on the cross. So I look forward to seeing you next week. Uh, thanks for watching The Upper Room. Pick up a copy of my book and draw closer to Jesus uh, through his sacred heart. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the